Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 5th of September 2022. We have a number of very interesting news and as always we start off with Scotland. We have a new bl master blender at the famous Grouse Distillery. His name is Craig Johnstone. He was already master blender and wood manager at the Lark Distilling Company in Tasmania, Australia. He actually studied astrophysics, so he's kind of a yeah. He's not native to the to the business as I am. I studied mechanical engineering, but he already worked at Brown Foreman, Brichladdy, and Glen Kinchy. He is now following Kirstine Campbell. She is now at the Macallan. Then we have some news about the yeah, Scotch trade business. The first shipping route between Scotland and China is now a direct shipping route. And uh, it's All Seas Pioneer. It's a pier at near Glasgow and will be at the Green Rock uh, Oceans Terminal. And it will... We have a trade volume of more than a million whiskey bottles that are being shipped to uh, China. And now they don't have to ship it uh, via South of England. And that means the transit uh, is reduced from 60 days to 33 days. And they want to use six ships with three departures per month, which is averages out if you look at the 33 days. And that has yeah, a lot of, it, it just, China and Scotch just moved closer. Yeah. Next up, we have uh, a board game. It's called Malt Friends, Malt Friends Journey. It's a yeah, board game where you can build your own whiskey empire and with the distilleries and trade routes and everything like that. It's two to six players, 50 to 100 minutes, um, 18 plus, and we will have it actually in store. So maybe I'll do a little bit of a board game review. Hmm, maybe I'm good at that, maybe not. Yeah, then like every week we have a new distillery and that is planned in Connemara. Connemara is a region in Ireland. The new whiskey distillery will be called Nock Bui Whiskey Distillery. It will also have a heritage center, so it's called Nock Bui Whiskey Distillery and Heritage Center. Uh, it's in the city of Karna, west coast of uh, Ireland. That's where the region of Connemara is. Uh, its founder is it John Connolly. It's a hurling legend, and his grandparents are supposed to be a very yeah, renowned, yeah, uh, what is it called? Uh, black distillers, or so uh, moonshiners, that's what they call it, or potine distillers in Ireland. And yeah, if, if you're really renowned for that, then you're not doing your job right, because usually when you do that, you, you shouldn't be known. Yeah. They will invest many million euros into the distillery, build warehouses. They will actually also build a bottling line, a shop, a bar and the heritage center. So it will be kind of a all in all everything done at one distillery place, which is always kind of nice to see that. Then we go to the United States. Uh, we have a new series, or they call it a collection, the Russell's Reserve Single Rick House Collection. It will be a really a yearly bottling, an annual bottling, and it will be named, uh, or is named after the old warehouse of the distillery. Uh, it's 10 years of age, 112.4 uh, proof, which is a lot. These 10 years is a lot for United States whiskey. Mm, and therefore it will cost around 250 US dollars and should be only available in the US for now. Hopefully it will reach the international markets and maybe it will come down a little bit in price. Then we have a little bit of an update. I already had the Buffalo Trace Distillery uh, expansion update. Um, it, it was the 1.2 billion dollar expansion of the distillery with new visitor centers and bottling line. And just recently they have added 14 new warehouses, which is quite a lot, 12 fermenters. And if you can remember my distillery video from 2015 about the Buffalo Trace Distillery, they had the biggest fermenters in the business. I think it was whiskey business, I'm not quite sure if it's uh, distilling in total, but they have huge fermenters, probably not the biggest now, but, uh, 
back in the days with distilling where were or whiskey they were the biggest they want to do a production increase of 50 percent which is a lot if you consider how much buffalo trace is doing and yeah 2022 they want to do a new still house and the end of the year they actually want to have it up and running so good luck to buffalo trace we always love to hear when you have such a good distillery producing more whiskey yeah that's the end of the news thank you very much for watching and see you next week